Tonight, a strange discovery in Puget Sound. We're looking at stuff nobody's ever seen before. One man's incredible find appears to complete an underwater investigation. For us, this has been kind of a, a missing link. Only Cairo 7 goes right to the experts with this deep sea mystery. An underwater photographer captured what looks like snow hundreds of feet down and turned to Cairo 7 to help figure it out. Only Cairo 7's Graham Johnson went along on an expedition and then took the video to an oceanographer for answers. We weren't sure what, if anything, we were going to come up with when we boarded this small boat equipped with an underwater camera system. But it turns out this video is new evidence of something state scientists thought was happening in the sound but hadn't actually seen. On a June day in Colvis Passage, we rode in a small boat with Doc Tempke. South of Olala in Kitsap County, he dropped a homemade camera over the side. It's easier putting it out than it is bringing it in, I'll tell you. Go get him. Down it went 120 feet. So I'm going to the bottom. Right away on the boat's monitor, we saw it. We have a lot of sea snow there, see it? Flakes in the water, lots of them. We're looking really good. See how big the flakes are? They're just huge. We found them among fish and on the seafloor. By working the cable, Temke was able to fly the camera over the bottom. Then we moved to where the water is deeper. See how thick it is now as I go deeper, how it's getting thicker? Down here at 300 feet is well beyond where divers can go. We're looking at stuff nobody's ever seen before. Let's go down a little deeper. A longtime fishing charter captain, Temke got into underwater video 27 years ago back when cameras were less sophisticated. Over the last five years, I've seen a big decline in our bottom fish, huge decline. And more and more often, he's been seeing these flakes, which are about a quarter inch in size. Sea snow is what I'm calling it, and I'm not quite sure what it is. So what is that sea snow? For answers, we went to a state oceanographer. Okay, so this is cool. Christopher Krems, an oceanographer in the Marine Monitoring Unit at the Washington Department of Ecology, was excited when we showed him the video. This is a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Turns out Doc Temke wasn't far off when he called it sea snow. It's called marine snow, and it doesn't sink very fast. And so basically it gets transported with the currents over long distances. Krem says marine snow is microalgae that forms at the surface where there's light, then dies and sinks slowly through the water column. State officials do regular flyovers of the sound and take water samples. They thought marine snow was down there. Now these pictures are confirmation. For us, this has been kind of a, a missing link because we're suspecting that, but we don't have the video footage. While marine snow is natural, Krem says so much of it could be a symptom of warmer temperatures in the sound. Even though El Nino is over and the so-called blob of warm water in the ocean has fizzled, Puget Sound, he says, is this year three degrees warmer than it should be, all the way to the bottom. The large climate scenario that we're sort of experiencing at the moment and the impact of it is also sort of resonating in Puget Sound how the food web and the timing sort of responds to it. What's more, the biggest contributor of fresh water to the Salish Sea, which includes the sound, is the Fraser River in Canada, where flows are low. That means water here isn't flushing out as much and can warm more easily, leading to things like the marine snow captured on Doc Temke's video. And I'm excited, you know, that citizens, you know, produce images like that because that's what we need is people having their eyes in the water. Eyes on the water and deep in it, revealing a warmer Puget Sound. Christopher Krems told me this marine snow is providing food for some fish and allowing others to hide from predators in the murky water. But he also says these flakes could be carrying pollutants. Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.